Hey guys, if you're new here and you like what I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. So a while ago I made a theory or a predictions video where I talked about Power Rangers versus Eltar and I talked about Zardius being the final boss of the arc, uh, Power Rangers facing off against Eltar and my theory kind of sort of came true although we have yet to see the Power Rangers versus the Eltarians but recently in Mighty Morphin issue 11 we were introduced to the Sentry Force 4, an elite team of warriors from the planet Eltar who were meant for battle. So no doubt about it, if we're gearing towards this Eltarian War storyline, we're definitely going to see the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers versus the Sentry Force 4. And I'm a huge fan of Shonen Battle Manga, Dragon Ball, Bleach, One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, you name it, I love a good Shonen anime with a lot of fights. And seeing how we've got our own team of bad guys and our own team of heroes, no doubt about it, my prediction is that Ryan is setting up a fight between the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the Sentry Force 4. But who is going to face who? Because if this is going to be sort of like the Straw Hat Pirates versus CP9 or the Straw Hat Pirates versus the um, Toby Ropo, no doubt about it, we're going to have pairing fights in this comic. And that would be really cool. So who is going to fight who in this comic? And rereading issue 11 of Mighty Morphin, you can probably guess that the characters who interacted with each other are the ones who are definitely going to be fighting each other in the climax of this arc. So you're going to have Adam facing off against Zag, you're going to have Kimberly facing off against Zenith, you're going to have Aisha facing off against Zero Zero, and Rocky fighting Zeta. And Rocky does make sense because Rocky has the power sword, Zeta has swords. Uh, Kimberly against uh, Zenith makes a lot of sense sense because that is a wasp-like character that flies in the air and Kimberly has a bow and arrow so it's all about accuracy and making the mark and I don't know how Aisha is going to fare against Zero Zero that being a big mech but Aisha is really smart in battle in the comics so no doubt about it she can come up with a strategy against this opponent and Adam well I don't know how Adam is going to face off against Zag I guess it's going to be strategy and knowing where they're going to land when they fight so we've got some very interesting matchups in this comic. Now, of course, no doubt about it, Tommy Oliver, your boy, is definitely going to fight Zardis or Zardius. But no doubt about it, Matt is probably going to get involved and it's going to have Matt and Tommy coming together and facing off against Zardius. They're going to put their differences aside and fight this alien invader. And that would be really cool to see. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that Lord Zed gets involved because the enemy of my enemy is my friend, that old saying. So, so once Lord Zed finds out that Zardius is the one that betrayed him and made him from Zulfram to Lord Zed, no doubt about it, Lord Zed will put his differences aside with the Rangers for this one fight to put his attempted murderer in the ground and maybe sort of squish beefs with Zordon, I'm not entirely sure. Um, they probably do still need to fight each other because the Morphin Grid is the balance between good and evil, something like that. So no doubt about it, they'll have to stay enemies, but if this is like the end of that story arc of Lord Zed. I can see the whole Eltarian War ending and Master Vile is the next antagonist for the next big story arc with how the comics play out and stuff like that. I've seen a theory and a prediction going around. Maybe this Eltarian War is going to lead into the Rangers getting the ninja powers or the Zeo powers. That would be really cool, but that means the Rangers would have to have a big setback for them to go on a ninja quest and get the powers from Ninjor. And seeing how Eltar is invading Earth, I can see Ninjork sort of coming into the fray with this story arc because if they're going to need all the help they can need, no doubt about it, Ninjor would be a very powerful ally. And I can sort of see Ninjor making a different appearance compared to what he did on the TV show. He did appear in Shattered Grid where the Rangers didn't really know who they were because they hadn't met Ninjor yet, but I can see Ninjor making his grand appearance in the Eltarian War to assist the rangers with like brand new swords like the battle borgs or the shogun Me megazord or the ninja megazord or something that would be really cool 
But anyway, guys, what are your predictions for the Altarian War? Who do you think's going to fight who? Who do you think's going to win? What crazy events do you think is going to happen in this upcoming storyline? Tell me in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your theories. With that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Special thanks to all the members, such as Swagger for and Andrew McCoyle. If you want to, you know, shout it out like these guys over here, join the Patreon or become a YouTube member so you can have your name in the credits of every video or shout it out like I just did for these guys over here. With that said, like I said earlier, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Take care. Bye.